Greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my closet. Honestly, I didn't think that we would be back here until the spring, but here we are cleaning out my closet yet again. You guys love these videos. I love these videos. It's helpful for me because then I can actually clean out and be able to use more space in my closet and then sell the clothes to you guys who will actually wear them. So that's just what I'm gonna be doing today, man. I also wanted to do this because I've brought in a lot of new clothes this year with my love of thrifting and I have literally another haul going up on Friday. So I was like, God damn. Dude, I just really need to make space. I've been looking at so many things as well in my closet that I'm like, why is this even in here? I don't even wear you anymore. So I've already started a pile of like three or four things over here that have already just been flushed out um, throughout the past months. And I'm just going to try on some things that maybe I would like to keep or would like to get rid of and just see how they look on the bod, see what you guys think. Sometimes I film these and then I put up the video and you guys are like, oh my god no that looks really good on you please keep that piece so i'm like okay so sometimes you guys are helpful in that way as well so share your opinions in the comments down below of what looks good and what doesn't and let's just go ahead and i'm going to show you the inside i'm going to show you the damage okay so this is the current state of my closet <laughs> all of this over here is all mine as well as down here scarves beanies all of my undies and stuff, which we're not going to be cleaning out, but all from here over is all mine. <laughs> so you see my problem. Okay, and now that you guys have seen the main damage, I've drawn back the curtain, and I'm just going to start taking out pieces that I'm like, oof, I don't know how I feel about you. <laughs> I would ideally like to get rid of at least 10 pieces today. Okay, this. It's time to go with this piece. I think I pulled this out in my spring cleaning video and then I tried it on and I was like, oh no, I'll keep it. I got this off of someone that I follow on Instagram. Her name's Daisy and she has the cutest freaking vintage clothes. What a queen. And I wore this, you know, I wore it a couple times, but whenever I see it in my closet, I never actually want to wear it. And so I'm gonna try it on for you guys now and you can tell me what you think. But this is one of those things that's like, regardless of what you say, I'm probably still gonna get rid of it. See, I love the sleeves. I love the embroidery and pattern here at the top. And it has that little line down here with the same kind of white lacy pattern almost. But it's just like, I don't know, it's too, I have a lot of frocks. I have so many dresses. I have some freaking frocks all over my closet, but it's like, when I put this on, I don't feel the same way about it as I do some of my other freaking frocks, you know? So I'm just gonna have to toss this one aside for the old Depop. By the way, I think in a perfect world, these things will actually make it up onto Depop listed, ready for you to purchase. December. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that because I'm leaving on a trip to go to Jamaica with Finley's family for Thanksgiving on Saturday. And before then I have to pre-film, pre-record my podcast, do all these things. And I just do not wanna be dealing with listing and shipping out Depop orders. And so I'm just gonna put them up like over the course. And if you watch Vlogmas, then you'll see when things go live anyway. So just be patient. I'll notify you when they're up and follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting them on there too. <laughs> Just like screenshots when they go live. Okay, I'm probably not gonna put my top back on because I just need to be trying things on and not doing that right now. Okay, this dress. I feel like I was actually wearing this in my spring closet clean out video. And a lot of you were like, honestly, I've gotten a lot of shit for wearing this dress in general. I don't know why. It's so cute to me with the tie dye and whatnot. But it's another one of those freaking frocks where I'm just looking at it and I'm like, dude, you have so many of the same dresses tie-dye dresses, pattern dresses, all of the things. So I think that it's time for her to go, but I'm gonna try it on just to say my last goodbyes. I really haven't had this for that long. I think I thrifted this like within this past year. Ugh, I don't know, it is so cute. I love it. See, this is why I can't put stuff like this on because then I see myself and I'm like, I look like I'm wearing like a vintage little sleeper gown or something and then I just call myself cute and then I just cannot actually physically get rid of it but honestly I think I need to. <sighs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below of that dress because right now she's a maybe. Okay now we have this dress 
which I feel like I also almost got rid of in my last video, which is a sign that it needs to happen now. Oh, you moto dress from Topshop. This literally smells like sunscreen because I think I wore it on 4th of July. All right, check her out. It's kind of short, like I'm 5'3", and if I bend over, you can definitely see my bum. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna buy this off my Depop. Um, it's also pretty booby, so you need to wear a shirt underneath it, even if you have small built titties. And I don't know, I just really don't get enough wear out of this dress as I used to. And the only time I ever consider wearing this in my wardrobe is really on 4th of July because it's blue and white striped. So anyways, I will be listing her. And think about that one for a while. <laughs> okay, this dress. This has been a recent purchase of mine and I showed it in my end of summer haul. It's from BCBG and you know, it's well made, a nice little pretty yellow dress, but it's just one of those things where I would have worn this at like my eighth grade graduation, but not as a 22 year old woman, you know? So I think I'll be listing it. I just cannot imagine myself actually putting this on and wearing it because of just the ruffles. It just like, it looks too young to me. And a lot of my clothes, you know, I do wear pretty young looking clothes. <laughs> Tie dye, colorful, all of the things, but this, it's just different, you know? So I'm gonna get rid of her. I feel bad because it's like too cold to wear right now and I haven't really given it a chance, but I feel like I don't even need to give it a chance because I know that I'm not even gonna like it that much. So she's going in the Depop pile. Okay, this dress. Oh, your girl has had this for so long. <laughs> I think it's time to pass her on to a new home. Again, it's one of those dresses that's, if I bend over, like my entire butt is out. I got this in LA and it's definitely one of those like open-sided, hot weather <laughs> dresses. And it's from Purr LA, which is at the Melrose Trading Post. And oh, my woman there, she used to give me discounts all the time on her stuff and I loved it. But now I'm like, okay, I don't get enough use out of this to be keeping it. I think that it needs, it deserves a new home. I have definitely gotten hella wear out of this dress, this kind of like apron styled dress that comes up high at the top. We love her work, but I'm gonna have to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, this dress. <laughs> Another short, I feel like a groovy girl when I wear this. This was actually my sister's. I think I actually saw it on her Depop and I was like, yo, don't sell that, send it to me. And it's like a little baby doll dress from Delia's and it's super cute. But um, when I got it, I accidentally ran it through the washer and dryer. And I don't know if you guys can see the kind of like discoloration on it, the like lines and everything. I'm just a dumb ass when it comes to correctly washing and caring for my clothes. I've shrunk so many things, changed the color of so many things, and I just need to get better about that. But Lindsay, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do with this dress because I'm like, okay, does it look cute enough on to where I should keep it? Or do you guys think I should either A, send it back to Lindsay or B, you know, donate it or something? Because I feel weird selling on Depop her piece of clothing that she gave to me because she was selling it on Depop. Anyways, does that make sense? I would feel bad selling this, so just comment down below what I should do with it. Also, my boob is literally like a quarter of it is underneath this band line. When I go like this, I'm like, oh my God, my boobs are being suffocated. This is kind of hard to get on and off. <laughs> so hard to get off. Okay, I'm putting my pants back on because we're getting into the shirts. <laughs> this shirt, all right. I thrifted this, I don't know, I think one of the first times that I was like, I went thrifting in Portland, I got this. And you know, it's cute. It's a cute shirt. I like the colors and whatnot, but I truly got this because I wanted to wear my red turtleneck underneath a pair of jeans, cuff the sleeves and then cuff the pants of my jeans. And that's just like not a look that I rock very well, at least with this specific color palette. I mean, if it was a little brighter, I feel like, it would be different, but it just didn't end up being what I wanted it to be. And I don't think that Finley would want this shirt. I'm gonna ask him because I feel like it would look better on him as like a nice dress shirt than it does me. <laughs> Good thrifting find, just not my style. Okay, this shirt right here is totally a shirt that Finley wears more than I do. I think we both kind of forgot that I even had this though. But when I did first get it, he was wearing it a lot. It's from like Easy Wear. It almost looks like a jean material, but it's like a purple drawstring kind of shirt that you can just wear all slouchy and whatnot. It looks really nice on him. I mean, it looks pretty cute on me, but I don't really wear it enough for this to be a staple in my wardrobe to keep in there. Like, I just don't like it enough. So again, I'm gonna ask Finley if he would like to keep this on his shelf because 
I don't wear it enough and that is okay, all right? I feel like people have such an attachment to their clothes in a way where they're like, oh, I can never get rid of that. Like, I don't wear it that often, but I could just never get rid of it. And my attitude with clothing is like, if I'm bringing, you know, seven or eight new pieces in, which I literally just did, I need to get rid of at least 10 because you just need to keep the balance, keep the harmony. I cannot pretend that I wear something when I don't. And also I got a comment, I thought this was interesting, but I don't think I would ever do it because it would just annoy me so much. I got a comment on one of my last clean out videos being like, so what I do is I turn all of my clothes on my hangers inside out. And if by the end of the month, I still have pieces that are turned inside out, I know that I don't wear them and I should get rid of them. And I'm like, that's a pretty good plan, man. So if you need help with getting rid of clothing and having incentive, I think that's great. Okay, I'm pulling aside a few shirts. This one. <laughs> First things first, some of you might remember me thrifting this in a video in the past, in a haul in the past. And honestly, you know, it would look kind of cute with what I'm wearing today, but this is just something that it belongs to a grandma and it should not be in my wardrobe. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, maybe it did belong to a grandma at some point, but I was rocking it. You know, maybe I rocked it a handful of times, but it's just... <sighs> I don't know, it's not doing it for me. Like this outfit is pretty cute, you know, I like it. But the shirt is just like too casual, too baggy. And like wearing it like this, I don't really enjoy. So I always have to tie it up. And I just don't always wanna do that, you know? So she'll be on the pop. Next, we have this shirt from Arizona Jean Co. And this is something where I'm like, okay, this is pretty cute, you know? I like it, you can wear it with jeans you can wear it with maybe like a legging and it's just like a super cute kind of shirt but i almost feel like i should send this to the 13 year old girl that i used to nanny because it looks like a preteen shirt it does not look like a 22 year old woman shirt and that's what i'm realizing with a lot of things in my wardrobe is like maybe they're cute for someone but they're not cute for me in my current aesthetic what i'm trying to go for you know and if i ever want to come back to fun little things like this with ruffles and like flowy little sleeves well i do still have some of those pieces but they're just they're more mature does that make sense Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't even have to give you a lot of reasons. I'm just getting rid of it. <laughs> okay, this shirt right here, I thrifted at the Goodwill bins and it's just this little polo that has like little flower pots all over it. And it does look kind of cute, but at the same time, I like, when I look at it on my body and stuff, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I feel like I should be golfing in this and I don't golf. So <laughs> maybe somebody who does golf should buy this off me. You know when you just like buy something with an idea of how cute it's gonna look and then you take it home and you're like, it didn't really work out that way. That's how I felt about that piece. And then this last piece, I don't even know if I wanna try it on. It's literally just like a basic white tee with these lines right here, but I just never freaking wear this thing. Same with this little shirt. I'm gonna try this on for you guys so you know what I'm talking about. But seriously, trying to put this on my body is always just such a process for my arms. Like, do you see what's happening over here? Why is it so, it's just an uncomfortable shirt to wear. And I have this same shirt in green, but it, it, it doesn't do the same thing to me. I don't know why this specific shirt doesn't does this to me but like the elastic kind of tangles around my arm and it also just like hurts me to wear i think that the size i could have gone one up in this specific one what is the size of the other i don't know what the size of this one is but it's definitely larger even the material here at the bottom cuts off before this one does i love this color so i'm keeping this one but this one man i'm just like Ugh. i don't know why it feels so weird on my body it is pretty cute i'm like ooh, but just not good enough for me. Needs to go to a home with somebody with smaller arms. Look at that, it literally made marks on my arms. This next shirt, I feel like I also tried on in my last video of this. This just fully needs to go. I mean, I love the shirt. I think it's super cute, but I can just like never find colors to pair this with for some reason, or like pants to pair this with. As you can see, the colors on it are like lilac and peach. And for some reason, I just don't have, well, I do have one pair of lilac pants, but they, they're just so big. They don't look good paired with this flowy and they're like really flowy too. So the flowy on the top and the flowy on the bottom doesn't always work for me. Anyways, super cute shirt if anybody wants to buy it. All right, now we've come to the beloved bodysuit section. <laughs> Every single time I film one of these, without a doubt, 
I have to go back through my bodysuits and just get rid of more because I never wear them. This one specifically, the straps are way too skinny for my chest. I just would never wear something this booby with the lack of support that it has. It's just like a cotton leotard. It's not even like high necked and like suctioning everything in, if that makes sense. It's more so just like giving me ill support. Like they don't look good right here to me, you know? But I'm gonna keep this on while I try on some pants I'm thinking of getting rid of. Okay, I'm feeling like Aladdin, guys. <laughs> These drop crotch pants. Oh my god, this is so funny, this combination of them together. It's just hilarious. So yeah, I got these drop crotch pants in Portland a couple, probably over a year ago, honestly. And I actually originally got them for Finley and then he was like, oh, I won't wear those. I don't really like them. The color is like a deep purple and a blue. It just doesn't really match with a lot of things I have. I said, okay, that's fine. I'll just keep them for myself. But I literally never wear them. I think I wore them one time and it was in India. And that was the first time in like a year that I had worn them. So these just need to find a new home. If any of you, I don't know, like doing yoga or just like drop crotch pants, pants, fisherman pants as they're called. Cop these, wear them around. They're very comfortable and I got them from a Tibetan shop on Hawthorne in Portland. So yeah. No thank you crybaby. Okay. Now these pants. These are another drop crotch moment. These are the lilac pants I was talking about that don't look good with that little black tank top that I'm getting rid of as well. But these, I've had these for so long, I think literally since I was probably like 16 or something, and I'm 22 now. And they have just gotten, like I tried to sew them to close them up a little bit here on the side. They've just gotten so big because I think the elastic is just like way too overstretched and everything. So whoever buys these off of me on Depop, just know this, that they are a little bit bigger. So um, I'm gonna list them as like a larger and extra large or something like that. But they are the comfiest pants. I mean, they're fantastic pants. They're from Tree of Life, which it says it was made in India, but I'm pretty sure they were like an Aussie brand that I bought from back in the day. Anyways, very comfortable material. So freaking soft, so comfy. I just never wear them <laughs> because they're so big they fall off my hips no matter how tight I sew them. By the way, if any of my friends are watching this and you see literally anything in this video that you want to have, please just text me and be like, can you send that to me? All you have to do is pay for the shipping or if I know you in real life, then I'll just give it to you at some point. But yeah, I always want to make that clear that if you're my pal, then obviously you get first dibs on my old hammer downs. <laughs> like these fun pants that I thrifted at the Goodwill bins, I put them in a recent haul and a lot of you were like, oh damn, love those so much. Your booty is popping. Love them. Right now they have like a leotard buttocks situation, you know, where like, this is why I only wear thongs pretty much. <laughs> it's because it just cuts off the cheek and it just looks really weird from behind. So won't focus too much on the booty, but um, these do give you a pop in booty. They're so soft, they're just velvety. They're just like jewel toned, ruby, beautiful pants. And they're kind of bell bottomy, right? At the bottoms, but um, they're just a little bit way too long for me. And also I love my pants to be more high-waisted and these come up to be like an inch underneath my belly button and I just don't like how they fit. I have had these for months and I have never worn them and I was talking about these pants to my friends at my friend's giving because my friend Haley was wearing pants like these and I was like dude those look so good on you but they're high-waisted and incredible. Mine are not but um, any of my daddy long leg friends who I don't know why I'm calling you that, but anybody with long legs who wants to buy these or get them from me, just freaking let me know. And last but not least, we have this little piece right here. Um, this tie-dye, it's like a brown, navy blue, and black tie-dye skirt. And it's very flattering and cute, honestly. I really like it, but I really just never wear it. I mean, whenever I wear skirts, I wear like big flowy ones that I can like whirl around in a circle. And you can only really do that to the bottom of this skirt, you know, nothing too crazy. <laughs> it is flattering and I like it, but I think one of you deserves this in your home rather than me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reclothe myself. Okay, I honestly think I'm done. <laughs> I got rid of a fair amount here, but check out this pile. I mean, I think we did a really good job. <laughs> 23 items and two pairs of long johns. Incredible. I'm gonna close this video out next to my friend over here on the wall. 
mask man he's got no other name i'm gonna show you guys the finished product of my closet it doesn't look that much crazier okay but we did get rid of a lot of things and so i'm feeling really proud about it you see those spaces the gaps i mean your girl still has a shit ton of clothes but at least i got rid of 23 things i was not not expecting to get rid of this much i mean look at all of the hangers on the ground we truly did some great work so this all being said, wait for these things to be listed on Depop. I promise I will list them by, I don't know, December? Just follow along with my Vlogmas. You'll see me doing that kind of business. I will be on vacation next week, so I just have to get all my pre-filming done before, and I just don't want to worry about the pop, man. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me, and comment down below what you want me to clean out next. My sweatshirts and shoes, or my coat closet because both need some work, honey. And I know you guys love seeing the like organizing and cleaning out videos, purging my closet, if you will. So just leave me a comment down below what one you would like to see first. And while you're down there, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. Become a patron of mine if you would like to support my earnings for this month. And hey, until my next video, stay smiling. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>